like beauty and mathematics and their relationship, you have to adopt a general philosophical point of view. You stand back and you look at the philosophy in a general sense that it explains how you can uh, go from beautiful things to finding the truth. And I was saying this is a, explaining the role of philosophy as a background. It's not directly related, but it's a background. Okay, you've done a theory called uh, Theory K. That, is that was a mathem technical mathematical work I developed a long time ago, yes. Yeah, can you tell, tell us more about this theory? Well, I was trying to explain the answer to one question. And in, in terms of its relationship with physics, which is only one side of the story, it is the uh, classical physics has to do with strength of forces and fields and this can be understood by geometry, classical geometry. But quantum theory requires understanding of something much more complicated, uh, which involves advanced mathematics. And K-theory fits well with the uh, physics of quantum theory. It is a na natural extension from the geometry to the quantum theory, but that gets us to be very difficult to explain in detail because it's advanced. K-theory has more elementary applications to algebra and geometry, which is uh, um, mentioned by the introduction that when you can't <coughs> look for the number of solutions of, of polar equation of degree n, you find n solutions. This is also related to K-theory. So K-theory is a, a way of looking at a combination of linear algebra and topology. And, uh, but it's, it's a bit too technical to explain, really. <laughs> okay, no problem. The title sounds deceptively simple.